Frank Castle hasn't appeared on our screens in a while and it's starting to worry fans. Fans of the MCU have been pleading for John Bernthal's Punisher to join the MCU roster, but is it a possibility? Following the appearances of Charlie Cox's Daredevil in the critically acclaimed Spider-Man No Way Home and Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin in Disney Plus's Hawkeye, fans have started to notice a pattern of former Netflix characters making their way into the larger MCU. The Punisher is one of the most well-known Marvel characters, so it's surprising that he doesn't receive the recognition he deserves. At least his logo is easily recognizable. The Punisher was quietly retired and made into a series after a couple of passively entertaining movies failed to hold audiences' attention as the bigger, flashier heroes did. One of the casualties of Disney launching its own streaming service with its own Marvel shows was Netflix's library of Marvel series. Several well-liked shows were abruptly cancelled, including The Punisher, Jessica Jones, and Daredevil. Several unresolved storylines were presented in each of these series, along with flawless screen representations of well-known superheroes. They deserved much better, and now that Marvel Studios has regained ownership of the Netflix characters, the MCU needs to bring some of them back. There are many ways that these characters could be infused into ongoing plots, such as Matt Murdock defending Spider-Man in court or Luke Cage leading the Thunderbolts, but some of them deserve their own standalone stories. This vicious character finally deserves to be treated with respect on the big screen after three Punisher films starring Dolph Lundgren, Thomas Jane, and Ray Stevenson. An R-rated standalone movie would make a nice consolation prize as long as the Punisher series is no longer made. Speculation about Bernthal's Punisher returning to the MCU in Phase 5, which starts with Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, has been sparked by a recent social media post. The Instagram post was made by an unidentified actor named Casey O'Keefe, who shared a picture of himself with Bernthal. O'Keefe describes Bernthal as a tremendous actor in the image's caption and adds, Looking forward to working with you during Marvel Phase 5. Given the SDCC announcement that Charlie Cox's Daredevil would make a comeback in a new 18-episode series titled Daredevil Born Again, the return of the Punisher in the MCU shouldn't come as much of a surprise. Another hint was the Punisher's earlier this year transferred to Disney+, Plus, along with other Marvel Netflix series. Although Dawson's comments are not an official announcement, it's likely a safe assumption that Bernthal will return, given how well-known the actor is and the fact that both Cox and D'Onofrio will be back for Born Again. Perhaps the Punisher will complete the circle and appear in the Marvel Cinematic Universe for the first time in the upcoming Daredevil series, just as he did in his Netflix incarnation. Before we go any further, we wanted to let you know that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Although it's unknown whether this rumored project would be for the big or small screen, it's intriguing to think that the Punisher would get his own standalone movie instead of being incorporated into someone else's plot. What this means for Frank Castle, who was portrayed by John Bernthal in both his own two-season solo TV series and season two of Daredevil, is a subject of discussion. Rosario Dawson appeared to confirm Bernthal's return to the series as Frank Castle at the Chicago and Comic Entertainment Expo, leaving fans of the show more than just a little excited. Dawson quickly contradicted her previous statements, claiming that she had become overexcited about Bernthal's potential return to the Punisher role, adding, I get excited. She appears to have relied on hearsay at this point, but we can't hold that against her. Everyone would be thrilled to see the Marvel Universe's most lethal man make a comeback. The fact that Charlie Cox, who plays Daredevil on Netflix, is returning for the new Disney Plus series is another factor that may have led Dawson to believe the rumor. Given that Vincent D'Onofrio, who also starred in the series, will also be returning, there is a chance that John Bernthal could get another shot at playing the Punisher. This is especially believable given the fact that Bernthal's own series was cancelled after Netflix and the MCU severed ties. Another possibility is that Marvel will cast a different actor to take over for John Bernthal as the renowned anti-hero for Marvel Comics. This would help to clear up any misunderstandings among fans regarding the course of this story. This might be a smart move, especially if Marvel decides against continuing Netflix's Punisher series, it will be simpler for Marvel to separate this character from the one who served as the show's protagonist now that a new face is associated with the Punisher name. Once it has a fresh Frank Castle at its disposal, it may make frequent appearances in a variety of Marvel television programs and movies. Maybe after appearing as a guest character, he'll get his own Disney Plus movie or series. Although none of this has been formally confirmed, it would be a smooth and easy way to reintroduce the characters to the action. 
the casting of each of these beloved Marvel icons received overwhelmingly positive reviews from both audiences and critics, and many people had hoped that this would be the studio's strategy after the cancellation of the Marvel Netflix shows. I think that this world it needs men that are willing to make the hard call. That's what I think. I think you and me Due to his brutal past and violent nature, the Punisher perfectly sums up a character that requires an R-rated project in the MCU. The character has previously appeared in three R-rated films, the most recent of which was played by John Bernthal in The Punisher, which was rated TVMA. If rumors are to be believed, Bernthal will return to the role of the character in the MCU, hopefully in an R-rated setting that would allow him to be as comic accurate as possible, delving into his background as a soldier and allowing him to engage in violent behavior in all its morally ambiguous glory. The Marvel Cinematic Universe's Daredevil has been solidified by Charlie Cox, particularly in regard to the fact that he appeared in Spider-Man No Way Home, and according to reports, he'll also appear in the She-Hulk series. With that being established, many people were left wondering what happened to the Punisher, the other second-best Marvel series character. John Bernthal's portrayal of Frank Castle astounded viewers all over the world, but there hasn't been much information about his future involvement in the MCU. Now we're pleased to inform you that an R-rated Punisher movie is currently being developed at Marvel, and we have a reliable source for this information. So is John Bernthal coming back? However, it would make perfect sense for the man to return to the role. Unfortunately, our scoop has not yet confirmed that. I mean, John Bernthal, Charlie Cox, and Vincent D'Onofrio are the best cast for their characters. Also, Cox and D'Onofrio have both reprised their parts in subsequent Marvel TV shows and movies. Regardless, Bernthal needs to return at this point. Frank Castle still requires his official MCU entry, even though the series gave the character the respect he deserved, given that he was just as vicious and bloodthirsty as he was in the comics. Apart from D'Onofrio, Bruntal has the most film experience, so it makes sense that he would continue to play Frank Castle in the upcoming R-rated Punisher movie. Fans of the Marvel Cinematic Universe have valued Daredevil's return to the fold enormously over the past 12 months, so it should come as no surprise that they're equally excited for another Defender to join him in the franchise now that more Punisher content is reportedly on the way. And because of this, you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. Based on everything that has recently been announced, fans of the Punisher won't have to wait too much longer. This announcement has a great chance of happening. For what it's worth, Bernthal has stated that he would reprise his role as the Punisher as long as things remain grim and gritty. The new project is expected to be revealed at D23, and John Bernthal will be returning to the role of the Punisher. See you in the next video.